I work with developers who build apps on Google Cloud, but I often tell them to use Firebase features. I've heard the same. Many of the developers I work with use both Google Cloud and Firebase in their projects. So let's have a look at what Firebase features they can use to supercharge their Google Cloud apps. I'm Martin, and I'm a developer advocate. I've had various jobs within Google over the last 17 years, but now I help developers build great apps on Google Cloud. I'm Puff, or Frank, and I'm a Firebase engineer. I've been using Firebase since the first beta version in 2012. I help developers build amazing apps with Firebase. And while we have different titles, Firebase and Google Cloud are two sides of the same coin, right? Oh, yes, they are. Any Firebase project is really just a Google Cloud project with some extra annotations. So if you have a Firebase project today, you already have a Google Cloud project. So it makes sense that many developers who host their apps on Google Cloud use some Firebase features. Yeah, but what Firebase features? Well, I often see developers using these three Firebase features with their apps hosted on Google Cloud. Static file hosting, custom domains, and user authentication. All right, Martin, let's go through your list. Number one is static file hosting. Now, what is that? Developers often need to serve static files like HTML pages, JavaScript bundles, or CSS style sheets and images. All right, so those are the files that we just send to the client, right? We don't run any code on the server that's in them. And you can do that with Google Cloud without Firebase, right? Yes, you can. I work mostly with serverless developers, and they often serve their static files from a Google Cloud storage bucket. Or they include their static files in a container that they deploy to Cloud Run. In both cases, they then add a load balancer in front so their custom domain can be used to read those files. But uh, Firebase hosting can also serve static files. Exactly, Puff. I've seen many developers run their server-side code on Google Cloud, but use Firebase hosting to serve static files to users. Yeah, Firebase hosting comes with some useful features for that. It only takes a single command to deploy files to Firebase. And Firebase hosting includes a so-called content delivery network, or CDN, so that your users can get those static files very quickly. There's also no fixed monthly cost for making the files accessible from your own custom domain. I use Firebase hosting for some of my production apps uh, just for these reasons. Very good. Now, next on your list, there was custom domain. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, CloudRun is an excellent way of running server-side code without having to maintain servers. It auto-scales up and down with traffic, so it's easy to manage. Your code runs when a URL is accessed. But that auto-generated URL contains hashes. I've seen those. And I guess that's fine for APIs not visible to people. But you wouldn't want to show a URL like that to your actual users. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you need a presentable URL, you can add a load balancer in front of your Cloud Run service. Sure. Or you know, you could use Firebase hosting. You know that with Firebase hosting, you don't have the extra cost and complexity of a load balancer. That's right. And it's easy to set up. Just go to your Cloud Run service, click Integrations, click Add Integration, and pick Integration with Firebase hosting. And that gives you the default setup where all traffic to your domain gets forwarded to your Cloud Run service. And that's great if your Cloud Run service can send static files to your users. But you can also use the Firebase tools to create a more custom setup. What might be a good example? Well, let's say that you host a web app, and if your users access yourdomain.com, they should get the static HTML and JavaScript for the home page. But then your JavaScript in their browser can call yourdomain.com slash API to access your server-side API that you built in Cloud Run. This way, the static files come from Firebase hosting, and the server-side code still executes in Cloud Run. So uh, you get the best of both worlds? Exactly. All right, that was the second item on your list, Martin. The third item is user authentication. Tell me a bit more about that. Oh, security is hard. It takes a lot of time to implement yourself. And if you do, you might create security holes. Oh, yeah. Firebase authentication makes it easy to add user login to your web or mobile app. Agreed. I've talked with many developers who host their apps on Google Cloud and who use Firebase for authentication. They either design their own login user interface that calls Firebase authentication, or they import Firebase UI, which provides that login interface. 
And then your application will get the ID of the current user, but you won't have to store passwords or to write code to integrate with login providers like Google or Facebook. You can also let your users just enter their email address and set their own password. Firebase authentication takes care of all of it. I've also seen uh, some developers use a Google Identity Platform. Oh, yeah. That just works like Firebase authentication, but it gives you some extra enterprise features like multi-factor authentication and multi-tenancy. Well, I run a few production applications that uh, use Firebase authentication. And Puff, do you know what my favorite feature is? No, what's that, Martin? When users forget their passwords, they don't email me about it. They can reset their own passwords. That makes my life so much easier. Oh, I can totally see that. I remember when we first started working on Firebase UI and making the UI designs. There are so many screens and so many flows that I never thought of. And now, you don't have to think of them either. I love that. All right, we covered a lot of ground, so let's recap. Every Firebase project is a Google Cloud project. Firebase and Google Cloud are two sides of the same coin. They work well together. Martin, you work with developers who host their apps on Google Cloud. What Firebase features do you see them use the most often? Well, they host their static files on Firebase hosting. It's simple, has no fixed cost, and it includes a CDN for better performance. Two, they point their custom domain name to their Cloud Run service using Firebase hosting. And finally, they authenticate users with Firebase authentication. It's less work and safer than writing something yourself. And you don't have to respond to emails from your users who forgot their passwords anymore, right? <laughs> yes, that's right, Puff. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Martin. This was fun. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Puff or me, please write a comment below. Also, let me know if there are any other serverless topics you'd like to see in future episodes. Until next time. <laughs>